Good morning, church. It is Easter morning, Resurrection Sunday, and how excited are you that we have a risen and living King, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, whom we worship because He first loved us in light of his humble incarnation and coming to seek and to save us who are lost to him living the perfect life whom none of us could live to dying the death on the cross that we deserved by him becoming both our sacrifice and our substitute appeasing the wrath of god and dying in our place as fully human to his burial in the grave and remaining there for three days only to culminate in this, the resurrection, the exclamation point on the Christian faith, the, the point that is so important that Paul says that if we have faith only for this life, we are most to be pitied. If Jesus Christ did not rise, we are still in our sins. We are still guilty before a holy God. And we have no way to be reconciled and restored back into relationship with him. But thankfully, the redemption that Jesus Christ bought and purchased on the cross through the atonement, through him giving all of himself for God's glory, for our good, Today we celebrate. We celebrate in the middle of the madness. We stand amazed that with a global pandemic, we have something to rejoice in as Christians, as believers, born again, putting our trust in Jesus Christ for our salvation, being filled with his spirit, being sanctified and set apart, as this church called out of the world, but living in it as a light to dispel and dispel the darkness. There's not many words that can be said to adequately summarize everything that we do today. So if we can just go before the Lord in prayer, Father, we stand in awe at your majesty we thank you that you, God, have won us eternal life. You have crushed the serpent's head, Jesus. And though he struck your heel on the cross, you rose in defeat over death, sin, shame, and grave in the resurrection. We pray that you would resurrect us you would give us new hearts that you would soften the hardness that you would circumcise us spiritually that you would open our eyes to see that you would open our ears to hear that you would come and make your home with us if you have not already and we pray jesus on this day, as we look around at the gloom and the travesty, at the worry and the fear, we pray that you give us a peace, that you would give us a restfulness, a restful assurance that the work is done and that it is confirmed today. The resurrection substantiates all that we believe. And we know Jesus, that you are both fully God and fully man, for you died on the cross as fully man, but you have rose in the resurrection, displaying that you are fully God. For no person has power over death, yet death bows to you. We bow to you. We offer ourselves in surrender. We pray that you would humble us. We pray that you'd get all the glory through all that we did do, all that we do today as we remember and celebrate your resurrection. We love you and praise you and we ask all these things in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen. Can't wait to see you, church, at 11 o'clock. Be sure to tune in, Facebook Live, YouTube Live, 11 o'clock. What a special day the Lord has prepared, and we can't wait to see you. Love you so much.